All right, this is a video on how to make a buzz coil. Um, I couldn't find a whole lot of information on the internet, and when I did, it was in schematics that didn't make sense, and I didn't understand what I was looking at. So this is how to hook a coil to a spark plug to get a good spark out of it. I'm using this on my jet engine powered go-kart. Um, you use a standard canister style ignition coil. You can get these from Napa for like 20 bucks. You get a 600 volt capacitor and a five pin uh, relay. You get these on eBay super cheap um, for like $1.95. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this on and show you what it does. Okay, here is the uh, little box that had the 600 volt capacitor in it I got from Napa. This is about, I think, $5.50. Part number is FA82SB. But that's the one you use. Okay, here is a simple schematic of how to do the buzz coil. Um, first thing you got to understand is with an ignition coil, how it works is... When you turn it on, the electricity goes in, charges up, and it stays there until you shut it off. And once it shuts off, then the charge jumps onto the, uh, the secondary coils inside and goes to the spark plug. And if you don't have a way to do that, you just gotta go off and on with the switch really fast. So what you do is you use a relay. Um, all you're gonna use is 14 gauge wire. You have your car battery, have your positive go to a switch, and then it comes up to the relay. This uh, blue box right here is your relay. And the electricity goes into uh, pin number 30 and it travels through this little arm that connects to 87A. And then you have a wire connected to 87A and it does a U-turn right back onto pin 85 and then it comes out of 86 and then you ground it. And what happens is the electricity goes in the coil, attracts this little arm, which pulls it over to pin 87 and it shuts the whole thing off and then the arm by default is spring loaded and goes right back to 87A which turns it right back on again so it just moves back and forth as fast as the components in the relay will let it go. Um, you hook a condenser to pin number 30 and to the positive of your coil and a wire from 87A to the positive of your coil and the condenser uh, prevents the electricity to pretty much kind of go back on your relay and spark inside and short out the terminals and plus that'll make your relay last a lot longer. Um, so that's how you wire up the, the positive to the coil and then you get a spark plug wire that comes off connects to the your spark plug and you have a ground wire come off your negative and ground and you connect the ground of the spark plug to that or to the body of whatever you're working on and it all just goes across and grounds out but anyway that's how it works very simple